A warming trend actually starts tonight, and you can thank Irma for that. Uh, temperatures in the low 60s uh, right now and uh, back into the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees once again tomorrow. Let's get into those temperatures because they tell the story of uh, what we have going on across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania tonight, uh, slowly sliding back through the low 60s here. But uh, the other part of the story is the dry air that's still in place. Uh, dew point temperatures in the lower to mid 50s, and this dry air has helped uh, chew apart any of those showers uh, that, have been, that have been pushing northward uh, thanks to Irma off to our south so far this evening. So only a few sprinkles here or there, and that's about it. And even the clouds trying to break up uh, just to our south this evening. Now, a new band is trying to form uh, not too far away, and these will continue to try to pivot on through here uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. Won't amount to a whole lot, though, as uh, that dry air will hold strong at least through tomorrow. Uh, but as this storm, the center of the storm, that is, approaches us as we go through the day tomorrow into tomorrow night and Thursday, there's going to be a better chance for a little heavier rain and a chance of showers and thunderstorms around, especially on into tomorrow night and through Thursday morning. Also keeping a close eye on Jose down here to our south, uh, a category one hurricane uh, still 1100 plus miles away from us. And uh, what has changed today? The storm still expected to loop yesterday. It looked like it was going to take more of a western track. Uh, a few models still trying to bring it on to the west, but most of the modeling uh, trying to curve this back out to sea. I am going to keep a close eye on that, though, as we go on into to the weekend and early next week. Right now, it looks like it's going to make that a complete curve and head on out. A future tracker for tonight, temperatures here at home only dropping into the upper 50s. Small chance for a sprinkle or a shower into tomorrow morning, and that'll be the case tomorrow too, although the biggest part of the day stays dry for us. And much like today, you're going to see some sunshine breaking out at times and a little filtered sunshine through the afternoon, and that'll help uh, push those temperatures right into the upper 70s. Now, as we get deeper into tomorrow night, especially toward midnight uh, through the early morning hours, the risk of a little heavier rain moving our way and even some thunder a possibility and this is as uh, Irma approaches a little closer and interacts with the upper atmosphere uh, right on into Thursday morning and that's going to keep that chance of some heavier rain in our forecast at least through the first part of Thursday and then becoming more scattered as we go into Thursday afternoon. So your forecast for tonight down to 58 scattered clouds, a sprinkle or a shower still possible. That goes for tomorrow too with highs in the upper 70s, mostly cloudy skies, still that small chance of a sprinkle or a shower, a better chance tomorrow night on into Thursday. That'll help keep those temperatures cooler. Upper 60s, your high Thursday, right back in the mid to upper 70s on Friday. The biggest part of the day looking dry uh, by Friday night football looks nice. Uh, temperatures on Saturday for YSU climbing into the 80s and even on Sunday a little bit warmer. Lots of sunshine around this weekend. The chance of rain returning next Monday as a cold front moves on through.